Okay, in this example, it says a formula is given along with the values of all but one of the variables. Find the value of the variable that is not given. So here we have an equation that says P equals A plus B plus C. This is actually the perimeter formula for a triangle. Now they've given us that P equals 12, A equals 3, and C equals 5. So what does that mean? Well, if they're telling us that P equals 12, then we can literally replace the P with a 12. And if they're giving us that A equals 3, then again, we could literally replace the A with that 3. And if they're saying that C equals 5, then we could replace the C with 5. Now let's rewrite our formula, but using those um, numbers. That we're, this is kind of evaluating something that we've already done before, um, but we just weren't working with specific formulas. So now we would have 12 equals 3 plus B plus 5. Here we only have one variable that we don't know what its value is. But by learning how to solve equations that we've been working on, we can find that value because this is just an equation that needs to be solved. Here on the right hand side, we can combine these like terms. So we would have 12 equals 3 plus 5 would be 8 plus B. And now we can get uh, the B alone by getting rid of the 8. Right now this is a positive 8, so the opposite of that would be to subtract 8 from both sides. You can also look at this as combining like terms still, but you're having to combine them across the equal sign. So our 8 minus 8 cancels out or is 0 on the right hand side. On the left hand side we have 12 minus 8 which is 4 equals and on the right hand side we have B. So that tells us that our B value here has to be 4. We've just solved that equation for the missing variable.